only on two tonight. A customer shot by a gas station clerk speaking out from his hospital bed. 25-year-old Cameron Carson was shot in the leg, he says, over a dispute about the price of a Slim Jim. Channel 2's Sophia Beausoleil live in the medical center tonight where Carson told her his side of the story. Sophia? Well, Cameron says he plans on taking legal action, but right now he's just focusing on recovering and is trying to understand why this happened. I just heard a loud pop. Gunshot, pop. 25 year old Cameron Carson lost a lot of blood and is still recovering after he was shot in the upper leg near his groin. I've got flashbacks. I can't even go to sleep because I'll be getting nightmares all the time. Police say an employee at a Chevron gas station at the corner of West Little York and 45 shot Cameron Tuesday morning. The 25 year old salesman says he felt uncomfortable when he walked into the store. The guy accused me and stereotyped me for looking like I was about to get him or something like like he accused me, said, like, people like you, I will kill you. He said that at first, ran on all the violence. Cameron says what happened next was over a Slim Jim. I gave him the money. Then I walked out. He came right back out talking about, no, it's $3. Came at my coworker. The man, my coworker gave him the money. He refused to take it. So he got up in my face. I pushed him. Dude shot me right there by the gas pump. This is not the first time there's been a shooting at this gas station. Last November, the owner got into a gun battle with suspects during an attempted robbery. He was shot eight times, but returned fire, killing one of the suspects, according to police. We went to speak with the owner at the gas station, but the doors were locked and crews were painting over the Chevron sign. As for Cameron, he believes what happened to him was a reflection of his race. It was racist. It was stereotyping. We also went to the owner's home so we can give him a chance to speak about what exactly happened yesterday. He was not there, so we left a business card, and we also contacted him via numbers that are associated with his name. If you are listening, we would like to speak with you so you can get your side of the story. Now, when it comes to the Chevron, we asked headquarters why exactly crews were painting black across all the signs. Well, they said, quote, that the location was removed from the Chevron's network several weeks ago and being debranded for contractual reasons. Reporting live near the the medical center, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Sophia.